Hi, welcome to the introduction to character creation tutorial. Let's start off by exploring the many types of characters that you can make in Crazy Talk Animator. The first one you see here is a completely morph based character. That means the face is an image that morphs to form expression and the body is a single image that also morphs to form movement. The second one is a sprite based character. His eyes, mouth and hands are images that can be replaced by other images at other times in the animation to simulate different movement or expression. The third one is our little sprite based character with a morph based head. This means his body can be replaced with different sprites but his head morphs a single image just like the previous example. Finally, we have the morph based character with a sprite based head. As you can see, speech is simulated with a separate jaw that is placed at a different location according to what he's saying. Now, on to face creation. This procedure for morph based faces is very similar to the way it was in Crazy Talk 6. Simply select a picture of a face, then move on to the first step for fitting. In the second step, you'll need to place all the markers at different places on your character's face accordingly. Make sure all of the character's face is encompassed by these markers. The third step brings in even more markers for more detailed fitting. You can zoom in to place your markers more accurately. The next step is masking. If your photo has a relatively solid background, you can use the fill function and then use the brush to clean up all the areas of the face that were accidentally filled. You can always zoom in here as well for further accuracy. After you've finished your head, you can save it to your custom head library by simply clicking the plus symbol at the bottom of your content manager. Just name your file and save. You can then import your new head onto any body and animate. Actor creation has a few more steps involved. Select the actor creator and open your image of a full body pose. Any pose is fine, but poses where all of your character's arms and legs are fully visible are better. As with face creation, you can use the same steps to mask out the background. The first actor fitting stage is very basic. You just need to match up the wrists, ankles and neck. You can toggle the mirror option if your character is not perfectly aligned to move each section separately. Step 2 requires that you place a marker at each joint your character has in order to indicate where joint movement should take place. The next step is the most comprehensive. Here you need to fit all of the actor material within the boundaries so that everything will appear when your character is finished. You can also set the size of each rotation joint to find the best looking fit. Make sure all the actor material is within the boundaries. The next step is to mask the individual parts of your actor. You can separately select and move around each part to check out what areas need to be masked. Just open up the mask editor, then follow the steps similar to face masking to get the unwanted material out. Side actor fitting is essentially the same with a few minor details. The ideal pose to use is something like the one shown here. Ensure that the feet are facing the same way and the chest is mostly obscuring the rear shoulder. You can take any face and place it easily on top of a sprite based body. In the character composer, go to the head area and choose any of the heads you have created using the face creator. Simply reposition and resize the head and update it to the stage. After your actor is on the stage, you can apply text-to-speech as well as any other motion to the body and see the result right away. You can also use the puppeteering panel to create facial animations like I'm doing here. In the character prop composer, you can replace body parts and sprites for any of your characters. This is particularly easy with the default comic characters. You can simply double click each new item and move it around for a perfect fit. Every single element of your character can be changed and manipulated. You can change the color of your characters within the composer too. Different colors keep things interesting. You can also create and import in your own individual character elements that you have pre-made to adjust your character's appearance even more. 
If you want to adjust your character's limb hierarchy to fix the order, you can do that in the scene manager at the bottom right. Simply use the up or down arrows to adjust it. Just update your character to the stage and they will be ready to perform any motion you wish. As you can see, there's a lot of variety to what you can do with Crazy Talk Animator. Go ahead and try out your own characters.